time for the dinos. Oh gosh, let me see the cards, please. I don't recognize any of these cards. What cards is good? That card seems really good. Resplendent Griffin looks like the kind of card I want to be playing. Same with Mist Cloaked Herald. Oh man. Each token that would be created under an opponent's control this turn is created under your control instead. We're going to take the Griffin, I think. Oh, removal is best? Shoot. Didn't see it fast enough. My bad. Oh, rare draft? Okay, let's see. We've got a bunch of cards I don't really recognize. Whenever this is dealt damage, untap and a permanent. When it dies, you can cast dinosaurs as though they had flash. And when they enter, you can have them fight. Uh, Legion Lieutenant, Moment of Triumph, Squire's Devotion. Chanted Creature gets 1-1 one, one and has lifelink. This seems like a good Ascend Enabler. Along with giving something lifelink seems good. I'm kind of torn between this and the Spire Winder, but I think I'm going to take the Squire's Devotion. Vamp Lord. You say? Spirewinder is good. I'm really thinking Devotion, though. Vamp Lord, best by far. All right. Vamp Lord, it is. Uh, Urza's Armor for your dinos. Aggro Vamp. Aggro Vamp. Devotion and Winder will come again. The Lord won't. That's fair. I think we're going to take the Sky Marcher. It's between Sky Marcher and Martyr, and I think Sky Marcher is way better. Okay. We have Blazing Hope, which looks like an unplayable kill spell. Forerunner of the Legion, Vampiric Tutor for a Vampire, and then whenever it enters the battlefield, target creature gets 1-1 one, one to end of turn? That seems actually really good. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll do that. Pride of Conquerors, or Martyr of Dusk. Um... We'll do Pride. Pride of ending the game? It's fair. Uh, we'll take Spire Winder. I don't know if we're playing it or not. When it enters the 4 mana 3-3, three, three, when it enters, put a 1-1 one, one counter on something. Or 4 mana 3-4 Flyer, if you have a Send. I guess let's take the vamp. Yeah, let's take the vampire. Negate, river darter. Dusk charger. Oh, dusk charger's good. I remember this card being good. Also, a winder is a snake. Uh, cleansing. This is best of one, right? Cleansing Ray can't be main decked, can it? Um. It, but it, it can be main decked. Just, just confirming I heard that right.
It's main deckable and luminous bonds is in the format. All right, we'll take cleansing ray. Um, dinosaur hunter, but I don't know if we're playing it. Canal monitor, I don't know if we're playing it. Horsey, bravado, sun collared raptor. A lot of enchantment kill and vamps can unkill your guy or take out a good vamp. Okay. Let's see. Big Dumb Dino, Cacophodon, Hatchling, Lord, Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. I am Lord. Lordy, Lord, Lord. All right. Pirate's Pillage, Strength of the Pack, Stormfleet Sprinter. Um. I guess Conquistador could be good if we get more than one. Recover. Recover's okay. We could go Sentry and just, or like fully, just go full, full Ascend aggro with Aspirants and things like that. Conquer Sentry. We'll go with Squadron Vampire. Okay, we've got Slippery Scoundrel. Arterial Flow, Mind Rot plus Drain if you have a Vampire. Oh, oh we're taking Dusk Legion Zealot. Glorifier, Voracious Vampire. Or Zealot. We could also take the rare here. Swordtooth is a fine rare to have, just for rare drafting purposes. I, I don't think I'm actually going to be in blue, most likely. I'm going to take Dusk Legion Zealot. The cantrip on the body just seems too good. Mausoleum Harpy, Flying Ascend, whenever a creature you control dies, put a 1-1 counter on it. That seems really strong. So, another good threat, or Divine Verdict. We have one sort of removal. Yeah, we'll take the Harpy. Mm, Martyr. Whenever another creature control dies, get a treasure. Take Squadron Vampire. If we can get like three, he'll be good. Um, how many creatures do we have? One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We have lots of creatures. We'll take the hunter. We want creatures that can attack. Revenant seems okay. Take the sentry. Ray. Recover. We might actually be playing Recover. Gruesome Fate. And Monitor. All right, last pack. What do we have? We have... We're not in blue anymore, so Melody... Otherwise, Melody would be good. Pious Interdiction, probably the pick. I'm I'm not I'm not in blue. We're not we're not gonna be playing. Are you sure? Are you guys sure about Melody? Alright, alright. We'll rare draft. Well, there it is again. We can take removal, dude. We might actually want the removal guy.
<gasps> Revel in riches. Oh, there's like five cards in this pack I want. Oh, can we just like take this card, this card, this card, and this card and just not 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 take the next four picks? Revel in Riches is fun, but I don't think it's an actual card we pick. We don't have much removal, so Contract Killing is probably better than Deacon, but Deacon is really strong. Yeah, we'll take the removal. Lurking Chubacabra. Do we have any creatures that explore whatsoever? Not a single one. Okay. Raider's Wake. Knight, Tormentor, Queen's Agent. I don't know if we want a six mana vampire. I think we want either the Chupacabra. Hmm. Actually, I think we want either Raider's Wake or just the Bear. I don't know if we want a six mana. Tormentor's not bad. I feel like Tormentor might be worse than Soldier. Okay, if it's between Raider's Wake and Tormentor, I'm taking Raider's Wake. Uh... Queen's Commission seems okay. We've got two Lords. Uh, Fathom... Fl Ooh! It's too bad we didn't take Revel in Riches. Just do the 10 turn win. Fathom Fleet Cutthroat seems good. Slash of Talons or a bear. Skittering's insane. I think I want the bear. Slash. All right, I'll take Slash. I'll trust you on this one. Uh, sack a creature, make two treasures. Sure. Squadron Vampire. Doesn't stack with other Squadron Vampire. Uh, cutthroat. Mark. Two mana and the bat. Okay. Cool. Do 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 do. Let's see, what does our deck look like? We have lots of four drops. Tons of two drops. So we should probably cut some number of fours. I think I'm going to go down Dinosaur Hunter. Ruthless Knave seems kind of meh. Like we want to be really aggro. Can we actually play Cleansing Ray? Is that a card this deck wants to be playing? One or two cutthroats out? I'll cut a cutthroat. Light on removal so you'd run it. Yeah, but the only that's the like being light on removal is why I want it because I want some way to remove a giant dinosaur if we can't aggro him down like just normally. One cutthroat, blightkeeper, soldier, and a glorifier. Cut those. I 
I want to keep Blight Keeper. I, I'm going to cut Snubhorn Sentry. Queen's Bay Soldiers are worse too. And Glorifier seems pretty bad. We have 16 creatures, 7 non-creatures. Yeah, Wake is why I'm thinking we might want Keeper. And just as some additional reach. I'm still thinking about Snubhorn. I just don't know what I would cut for it. Like, it lets some of our openers be crazy good. Kano's too tired to think. If I put Snubhorn in, I'm going to take Cleansing Ray out. Deck looks fine. All right. Let's do it! Here we go. Onwards to victory. Oh my god, if we had even one one white land, this hand would be nuts. Even as is, it's like decent. We're going first. Keep. Alright, I'll keep. Play Swamp, pass the turn. Opponent starts Island. Cast our only castable card. There's the planes. Play the planes. Go to combat. Attack for one. Queen's Commission. Play Vampire Revenant, pass the turn. Next turn we're going, oh, Forerunner doesn't tutor it to the top, uh, to your hand. I was thinking it tutors it to your hand. I should have Forerunnered there, my bad. Next turn we'll play Harpy. <laughs> or actually we'll play Forerunner and Sky Marcher. I'm going to place a Sailor of Means, gets a treasure. Ooh, Conquistador is not bad, especially if we draw land. Get in for three. Okay. Forerunner. Oh my gosh! He has more text on him! Oh, he pumps vampires. Oh, we're playing so bad right now, and by we, I mean I. Should have done that. Missed one damage. Opponent water knots. Yep, yep. Yep, that's me. So we, Legion Lieutenant, we pump Lifelink Guy? No. Pump the Flyer. Play Conquistador. Okay. Pump the flyer. Math is for blockers. Yeah. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like I said, it's towards the end of the night. Should be a lot more chill than this. Should be a lot better at this game than this. I'm going to do my best. We're going to lower everybody's blood pressure, including my own. Opponent has Sure Strike to kill Forerunner. Still takes a buttload of damage. We just rip the other Lord or a land off the top. That'd be pretty sweet, too. <laughs> Opponent blew their treasures for that. Hey, we got there. Play suboptimally, still completely wreck face. Appreciate the guidance, because I would not have taken the Lord, and that would have been a huge mistake. Alright, both colors of mana. We're going to aggro deck, but we don't do anything until turn three. Uh, I gotta keep this, though. Three lands, four spells on the draw. Yeah... We got a slash of talons if he's aggro. We got cleansing ray if he's vamps. All right. Two lords is crazy good. I mean, kind of feels crazy good. One lord was pretty awesome. Especially that early on. I'm going to play Induced Amnesia. And our opponent knocks out our one. Oh god, they're just going to die. So we... Swamp Zealot and Lieutenant? Yeah. Play Zealot. Play Lieutenant. Attack for three. Next turn we can Forerunner Aspirant Lunge. Yeah, I was going to say, they just got rid of, like, five lands. I don't know, like... I don't know if you can mill somebody in this this format. I'm going to play as a Riverwise Augur. Oh, yes. I'm feeling quite naughty right now. Now we're going to Queen's Commission and cast a Lord, and that'll be game. <laughs> yeah. That's that's what I was thinking. I 
opponent plays a Spire Winder and a Jade Bearer. We draw a Lieutenant. We play a Lieutenant. Pump Lieutenant. Queen's Commission. We pump. Zealot and Forerunner. Opponent goes to one. Gotcha. It feels dirty. Not going to lie. Feels just a little bit dirty. Two drop, three drop, three drop, four drop. Yep, we'll keep. For queen and country. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. <laughs> Put a place a shipwreck looter. Attack for one. Oh, we're gonna double lord next turn, and it's gonna feel so good. Double lord on four. Put a place a favorable wins. Gets in for two. No blocks. This is so nasty. <laughs> oh man, we're vampires on parade. Oh. Feels good, man. John, good man. Oh, well, we've got two, three, four, four lands. It's hard to say no to this. Opponent goes first. We draw a one drop, it's insane. <laughs> Least Oz and Great Bone Daddy make me look like a pro. Yeah, you guys do. You do a pretty good job. Opponent plays a Seeker Squire. Gets a land. Tron mana. Play a two drop. Stormfleet Sprinter. Take four. Get these out of our deck so we don't draw them. Uh, we're not blocking with the Lord, so we will attack with the Lord. Does that prowess? It does not, but it cannot be blocked. And it has a fanatical firebrand. Gets in for two. 
Okay, slash of talons is how we answer that. Play a swamp. Play, play a conquistador. No attacks. Opponent plays a land. Plays Firebrand 2. Shoots Lieutenant. Shoots Lieutenant. Shoot the Sprinter. Opponent has Dive Down. We're going to trade off one Conquistador. Play Conquistador. Play Lieutenant. Get in for three. I'm going to play as a tap land. Gets in for two, takes us to eight. Opponent Water Knots Conquistador. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can't play two. Dusk Charger, I think, is the most damage. Well, first thing we're going to do is attack. I think Dusk Charger is most damage. Revenant. We're going to play Dust Charger. Opponent Water Knots, Dust Charger. Gets in for three. We're one damage off. Trying to remember what's still on our deck. Double drop will kill us. Play Forerunner. Decline to search.
opponent blocks, go to damage. Opponent needs to have not one damage. Opponent divination, land, rampaging ferocidon, menace, players can't gain life, but that doesn't do it. Opponent gets in for two. Three water knots. <laughs> this looks like it's going to be a very fast draft. <laughs> Once again, looks like a good hand. Opponent goes first, leaving us the option of drawing the one-drop vampire, which would be insane. Opponent starts planes. 1-1 one, one first strike. I think I'm willing to slash that. Gonna plays a Dusk Legion Zealot. We play our own Dusk Legion Zealot. Hold off on the Lord. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you enjoy it, Bone Daddy. I spent so long editing that goddamn thing. Oh, but I, I really enjoy it. Oh man, Mark on the Encampment Keeper. No blocks. Contract killing's a two for one now? Yep. Mm. Let's attack. Let's attack first in case we need to pride of conquerors for some reason. If there's an untapped trick, I'm gonna be a little sad. 
Pride is, contract killing is not. I'm going to play Blightkeeper because it makes Pride, like, lethal, I think. I'm to play a Strider Harness. Gots to suit it up. <laughs> Opponent, you're dead. I'm sorry. Oh, you're so super dead. Ooh. Well, that's five wins in a row. Like I said, it feels pretty good. Seems good. We'll keep this. I don't know what the hell all you were talking about. This Ixalan draft and stuff is easy. All right, we're going to go Martyr, Conquistador, and see if we can't hit Double Lord. Maybe we go Lord this turn just so we can attack. Yeah, we're going to do that, just so we can attack safely. Oh, man. Probably sure strike. Moment of craving. Okay. We still trade off there. And we still get the extra point of damage there. Sky Marcher. Mountain into Seeker Squire. Gets a land out of the deal. Fathom Fleet Firebrand. I don't think we attack with the Lord. I think we just attack with these two. Maybe we just even attack with just the Martyr of Dusk. Just Martyr or Sky Marcher 2? Alright. Just attacking with the Martyr. Bona blocks. Does not. Blocks. Okay. Kill it, get a life linker. Nice try, Bone Daddy. Nice try.
when it gets in for one, no blocks. This will suck if it's a fiery cannonade. Two damage to any target. Shoots the Lord. Don't patronize me. We know it was a shit attempt. Um... Yeah, that kind of hurt. And by kind of, I mean very. Both lords in the grave. Attack with just the uh, conquistador here. Play a forerunner. Take Zealot, because we can play two vampires next turn that way. Get the 3 1 or 3 4 1. Wanna play a fire cannon blast. No blocks. Take play zealot. Pump forerunner. Draw land, perfect. Play a land. Play a conquistador. Pump forerunner. Why did I do this? Why did why did I do this? Uh, why did I do this? <laughs> well, we kill the 3-3. Three, three. Opponent decides just to chump. That is most certainly incorrect. Opponent punted right back, so it's okay. Unpunt. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that was a command. All right. Let's pump. Let's pump a conquistador and get in with a conquistador. Two punts don't make an unpunt. Do we just do we just go all out? We're definitely attacking with that. We'll wait one turn. I want to see if we can draw. Okay, opponent has a moment of craving. Come on, Pride of Conquerors.
one has one card in hand. Blocks there, blocks there, loses that, and takes either two or four. But no attacks. <laughs> when he plays a zealot, draws a card, goes to 13. Plays a fathom fleet border. Attack with the Zealot. I'm gonna make him discard and lose two life. He discards a land. So now he can't be holding cards in hand. No blocks. Mausoleum Harpy seems really good. Double blocking both might might have been the thing we needed to do. Another vamp target creature gets one one. Oh, okay. Pump harpy. That's a really crappy pirate flag animation. Opponent scoops it up. Harpy too good. All right, six wins. Time for the final boss. This guy's got some elemental stones. Why am I Vivian? Two drop, three drop, four drop, five drop. We'll keep. I'm gonna play as a firebrand. Tax for one. Play zealot. Land is good. Six zero making this look easy. Pick a day and call in, help him pick. It was very generous of you, Bone Daddy. You're a good human being. A rigging runner for our opponent. All right, let's uh, Conquistador here. No attacks. Lich. I still gotta put together that vintage deck. I really want to. Opponent attacks for two, first strike. No blocks.
Hmm. So Bant, build your own Koth alt. Is that a thing? I think I Raiders Wake. Opponent has Fiery Cannonade. Wow. Get Shrekt. Oh, man. That sucked. Opponent now going to dump their hand. We have no choice but to play two guys. Glad we didn't play a Lord. Yeah. Four Walking Ballista, four Biovisionary, and two times... Biovisionary? Isn't that the guy, if you have all four of them, you win the game? Are you thinking, uh... Master Biomancer? Or am I, am I not understanding the interaction here? Opponent hijacks our lord. Can we take seven and go to five? We're gonna go to five. Oh, I should have attacked with the Lord. You are correct. Opponent shoots us in the face. I was thinking he could, like, block and sack. I don't know why. I'm going to play a Brazen Freebooter. And a land. They'd be hellbent by now if I actually had attacked. It used to work that way pre-6 of the edition. You could like Mog Fanatic block and then sack it to deal 2 damage. We could attack with Conquistador, but if they don't block, we're just fucked.
Basically, blue green, good stuff, and ramp. It sounds like fun. Like, I'd play that. Blue green traverse with goifs and stuff. I'm going to bank on my opponent not having two damage here. They drew damage. If they hadn't, we'd have won. So close. So close to the 7 0. All right, we'll still go for the seven wins. Yeah, I should have. There's a couple of mind rots. I should have done that. You are correct. It, there's like, there was one piece of removal that does exactly six damage, and that would have been, yeah. Well, we have a castable card. We are on the draw, and if we draw black, we're in fantastic shape. All right, black mana. Come on, black mana. Battle of the Mana Screw. No, oh, this is this is not good. Could have cast Pride of Conquerors to avoid discarding a card, but I really didn't want to do that. I think Pride of Conquerors has the ability to just win us the game. Opponent did not attack. Mm. We can't we can't cast anything else. <laughs> Otherwise I would have too. Oh yeah. Well, I think we have to start attacking. 
I'm going to work on the list. I'm going to add some spice to the sideboard. Overgrown Tomb and a Scarab God. Scarab God plus cost reduction of abilities sounds insane. So, like, I'm on board. Opponent finally finds a land. Plays big ol' 4-4. Four, four. This is turn N, where N is about five turns too many for us to draw another land. Opponent pounces. Okay, there's the black mana. We need to draw one more black source so we can just vomit our hand onto the table. Opponent plays a dumb explore dude. Puts in the grave. There it is. Hopefully opponent doesn't have removal for Lord this turn. Opponent puts a Journey to Eternity on the Overgrown Armasaur and plays a Cherished Hatchling. We have the option of like Raider's Wake Pride, but I think I want a Legion's Lieutenant and then just Pride of Conquerors on a big swing. Gain a ton of life, kill their entire board. I'm going to do this. Like, they lose everything here. And if they don't, they die. Opponents at 4 gets a 1-1 one, one and has a 4-4. Four, four. They can reanimate a creature, but we're going to Raider's Wake and then they're going to take enough damage to die. Enraged to gain two life. This still kills them. I'm like 99% sure. Because two guys get through. They don't have any lifelink. I don't think there's any one mana removal that does it. Well, this is a triggered ability. They should be dead before we, like, just after we deal damage. And got him. 
Seven wins. Let's go open our swag. Ixalan pack number one. Come on, Immortal Sun. It's a dowsing dagger. Ixalan pack number two. Hostage taker. Hey, we need that for pirates. And a Ravnica Allegiance pack revealing Zagana, Utopian Speaker. <laughs> well, thanks for showing up tonight, everybody. I greatly appreciate all of you. You're all wonderful people. Oh, it's Rivals? Okay. You're all wonderful people. Thank you for coming. I appreciate each and every one of you. So, I need to head to bed. Y'all have a good night, and I will see you the next time I stream. Bye, everybody.